Hello and welcome to this new series. This new series will explore feature by feature comparison between Tableau and Power BI. So if you have not subscribed, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for the new videos. So in this video, we are going to discover about uh, Pi Visual both in Power BI and Tableau. So let's begin. So what we am going to do is I'm going to create a Pi Visual first of all in Power BI. So Let's take the pie visual. We have a donut which is very similar. Uh, it will not have the middle portion now. We go ahead and do it. Now I'll take the brand and I'll take gross sales. Okay, so I got my pie visual out here. And then these legends, I can control the display I wanted. So if I want to change that, I can go to, you know, detail label and I can choose something else. Like I can only choose category. I can only choose data value. I can choose percentage of total if you would like to display that. Then I have combinations category and data value, category and percentage of total, category this and all the labels. So all three means it will include percentage of total, it will include value and it will include category also. So all three of them together. Now another thing which you can add out here is actually you can go ahead and add the details out here. So inside that one whatever categories are there you can have it. One more option which you can actually explore. Uh, this is very um, option which you would not be able to understand pi much after that because you can have gross sales and net sales both together. And you know, I'm seeing a two pies out here. So basically both gross sales and net sales are together. So this is possible more than one uh, majors are allowed here, but uh, I think better to have a pie like this. Fine. So now this is pi in Power BI. Now in Tableau, if you need again in Tableau, you need at least one dimension and one major. So I'm going to drag brand out here and I'm going to drag gross sales. And now let me convert it into a pi visual. Now in pi, I'm right now not seeing any lab labels, but here you have option for label and you can drag actually label out here. So I can go ahead and say, I would like to see, let's say brand out here. So I drag it on label. So I will start seeing the uh, you know label out here. And then if I would like along with brand, I would like let's say gross sales also, then I can drag it on label. And label can be customized. So I can click on the label and I can have this option and I can actually customize it the way I want it. I can write down some text in between and all those I can do. So I can go ahead and do those stuff out here. So you can go, uh, you would like to change it. You can actually go ahead and uh, change these, uh, you know, this thing. And then uh, this is standard. Then I can say fit uh, width. Then I can say fit height. And then I can say entire view. So I have various options where I can change this pie size. Okay. Now, what other than that is uh, we were trying, uh, let's try to add one more category out here differently. Let's say what happens if I add it to details. Uh, so you see certain amount of changes done here. You see just like there we have details here also the details have been added. Now if I would like that to see on label actually I have to add it here. Okay. So you can see now uh, depending on the you know space availability these labels you may or may not be able to see. Let's see I, I want to not don't want to see some now I actually want to give more space there. So I can actually say apply okay and I will be able to see but I think because of the space arrangement it is now other option I can actually remove detail label details label from here and I can actually move the category to the columns so I get more than one pie basically category is here like display like this and I can do it like this now this display typically is not there in the power BI. you have this specifically in tableau so both the tools pretty um, um, good options are available to, for you to create pie chart and play around with it so go ahead and try this out do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you get involved keep asking questions in comments subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification of our new video keep watching